Heat1995, ladies and gentlemen. We got another Patreon request a movie coming in from the homie That's So Gordo. Now, don't know much about this. I do know the movies that That's So Gordo has requested in the past have been nothing but straight fire. I do know this is supposed to be like a crime, um, a crime style movie from what I understand. But other than that, I'm kind of going into this completely blind. Didn't see any trailers. I know it's more action kind of too, based off what I've seen from the pictures. At least it looks action. So I'm excited for it, man. You guys know I love action movies. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Before we do, I do ask that if you guys are on a new channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. Also, before we do get into the video, I want to apologize for the shitty lighting, okay? I, I, I'm saying it in all the videos this week. It's only gonna be for this week's videos, the uh, movies and TV shows, because I'm redoing my setup. Lighting is a bit weird right now. I do know, and I do apologize. Bear with me. It's only gonna be for like five videos, and then we'll be to some top tier, pristine type shit, guys. But we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna hop into this movie. Natalie Portman. Okay. A couple names look familiar. Honestly, in that situation, I always take the stairs, bro. It, it just, it's so much fashion going down the escalator, I feel like. What did he just buy, dude? That seems so weird. Explosives? Okay, that's why he seems so sketch about it. Okay, he, I mean, okay, you gotta make it a little less obvious. The, the, the dude that bought it made it seem like he was so sketch about buying it, you know? And like, does he notice I'm kind of sketchy or not, you know? I don't know why, but I'm already kind of getting, um, like the usual suspects vibe from this, kind of. If you guys have seen that movie. Now, get set. I am. Bro, if anybody looks into any of these vehicles, it looks so suspicious. Holy fuck. Right into a fucking used car lot, man. That sucks for the owner. Blew the doors off the back. At first, I thought they were just waiting for the cops to come like that was part of their plan. Spikes. <laughs> Smart man. They they 80 seconds left. I, I like when the people in the movie actually think their plan out, like think it out completely, you know? Hey slick. You see that shit coming out of their ears? They can't fucking hear you. Cool it. He looks like he wants to try something. He looked a little crazy. I got it. Literally didn't have to kill him, man. He's the hothead of the group. He didn't have to kill him, but since he killed him, they had to kill his partners, too. Ooh, they're gonna blow it up, destroy all evidence. See? I like it in shows and movies when they think their plan's through. Just like if you guys have ever seen Money Heist or La Casa de Papel, whichever one you want to refer to it as. Fantastic. Look, I had to get it on, man. He was making a move. I had to get it on. <laughs> Mind your business. Just mind your business, man. You know, handle your stuff. <laughs> Bro. Oh, shit. Okay. He's about to straight up off him. I mean. That close to a crime scene, man. Oh, okay. He pulled a fucking Houdini. Dude, I didn't think he was going to straight off him. I thought he was going to, you know, beat him up, rough him up a bit like they do. Zero tolerance, man. I mean, he, he did do some stupid shit. So I, I, I see where he's coming from. I really do. Every time I try to maintain a consistent mood between us, you withdraw. I got three dead bodies on a sidewalk off Venice Boulevard, Justine. I'm sorry. If the goddamn chicken got That's what I'm saying, man. How you expect a normal life or relationship when you're with somebody that 
is in this line of work you know what i mean like these people cannot get upset you know like you think you're gonna be able to maintain a normal routine with this guy you know i mean he seems like he has good character and stuff in certain situations like he cared about what her daughter thought and how she was doing and stuff and you know that the dad doesn't show and it seems like that's a consistent thing with the dad which is fucked up and i hear the uh, cash flow of the bank for the past two months how do you get this information it just comes to you this stuff just flies through the air 13.9 million see i love this stuff man like when you good. when when they actually think stuff through in the movies and they have good plans and setups not just like run and gun type shit you know like i love this we're on and not oh, just like a layer of thinking like they're deep thinking layers deeper and deeper you know man. i'm a jimmy mcelwain on a yard used to say you want to be making moves on the street have no attachments allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner that's some shit man some crazy words exchanged man i like the dialogue in this movie a lot you okay yeah sugar. Yeah, man i'm a great grill man Good. Good for you. Here you'll mop out the toilets, hit the dishwasher, plus tables, and empty the garbage too. Give me a hard time. I'll report you loaded, drunk, or stealing, and I will violate you back so fast you have it. Worst kinds of bosses, man. Worst kind. Don't even treat him like he's human. Bosses like that, man. Like not even turning around to talk to you, making eye contact or anything. Put your hands where I can see him. Your right hand only. He said he was going to kill him. Is he going to see him in the mirror? Oh, behind you. On the right. You think, think they weren't ready for that, man? Come on. Yo, he left him, bro. Like, you can't blame him. Bro, he's about... Oh, he's about to run him over, huh? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, the fucking three-piece combo, what the fuck? Dude got shot, turned around, shot again, turned back around. Got hit by the car. Look, they were ready. They were fucking ready. Smart, like... <laughs> Dude really sent two people to kill him like he wasn't gonna do something, you know? Like he wasn't gonna set, set something up. Forget the money. It's a lot of money. What, what are you doing? What do you mean, forget the money? What am I doing? I'm talking to an empty telephone. Because there was a dead man on the other end of this fucking life. <laughs> fucking, oh. Literally. Like, you really tried to play him, and then you acted stupid, too. That's even more disrespect. Like, you should have just took the deal and went with it. Can I see you? I was afraid that was just the one night, you know? Yeah. I'll see you in a little bit. Maybe he's gonna start getting close to someone. He said earlier not to get close to anybody that you wouldn't be willing to leave, you know? I think he's gonna get attached to her. <laughs> Look at this. Dude is like the dad of them all, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which one's like? Got it. Dude, they got them all. Shit whatever anyway the guy he could take his fingers right and fold them over one over the other and then he turn his eyelids inside out i could not do that as a kid man turning the eyelids inside out oh pagers <laughs> so she tells us she's going to talk to well i like how we're getting the parallels between the two groups you know how they have it's it, like they're similar lives you know and just one's considered good and one's considered considered bad you know which it's all really a point of view, but I, I like how we're getting the parallels. Oh, is this the site where everything went down? Here's how we found her. Okay, this is okay. I get it. This is from Homeboy. Check on the semen. My intuition says it's coming up the same guy, so it's a series. It's really fucked up. Where's my baby? Beat her head in too. Like that's not even a quick death you know like a gunshot you search for signs of passing for the scent of your prey and then you hunt them down 
That's the only thing you're committed to. The rest is the mess you leave as you pass through. Hey, if it... and what I don't understand is why I can't cut loose of you. People gotta understand, sometimes you just got a purpose in life. Maybe that's his purpose, you know? Like, you can't get upset with somebody for doing their job or being obsessed with their job. Hey, it's Lily. If that's their purpose, that's Let's their go. purpose. But I love the parallels. You know, we're seeing problems in relationships on both sides, but for similar but different reasons, both relating to kind of their jobs. That motherfucker does every day. Baby, can you just handle it till we find you something new? You come and go. The last thing I am is married. I'm a needle starting at zero going the other way, a double blanket, and all of a sudden... Someone like you comes along. Told you he's getting attached to her, man. That's why he wants to bring her. Enough. Come with me. Good. I know she's like in love, but like. This doesn't sound sus to you? He has to go there separately, he has to leave, he doesn't stay in one place, he has a ridiculous amount of money. Does this not sound sus to you? Like, what's up? Hey, sweetie. What happened? You forget your mom was picking you up? Okay. Come on, I'll drive you home. Good, he cares. I'm really loving the movie so far, I really am. I just, we're getting so many parallels from each side you know we're seeing how similar how similar they are but also how, so how i cannot talk we're seeing how similar they are but also how different they are you know and it's it's cool because it's it's very similar lives you know uh, like a lot of people are are like one another and they don't even realize it you know those are dope what is this when they're cutting out, um, set, getting ready to cut out their security cams two hours before the next job, right? They're breaking in and set that up. It looks like they have them, but I feel like it's a trap. Oh yeah, you fucked up. Chess game, baby, and you just fucking, oh, you fucked up. Imagine being the one that um, hit your gun against the wall. You know they're all pissed at you. Heads up. One's coming out. Just hold it, Captain. Vincent, he's not carrying any. On what? What are you going to take him on? Breaking an entry? They didn't steal anything yet. Don't you get it? It gets knocked back to some chicken shit misdemeanor. They do six months and they're out. No fucking way. I'm not taking the heat from my bosses because you let them go. They're not. You know that guy got fired. That fucking hit his gun against the wall. Oh. Smart, though. That is true. All they would have got was breaking and entering. They want to catch him for, you know, the big shit so they can put him away indefinitely. Dude is locked in, man. Am I a hundred uh, yards? Some, some people become obsessed with their work. 300 yards. Center left. Are they going to meet face to face finally? I want to see the face to face meeting. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. He can't, he doesn't have anything to really charge him on right now, right? Other than the, I guess, suspicion, right? How you doing? What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure, let's go. Follow me. <laughs> okay, I like this, man. We're gonna have to... They're gonna have a sit-down conversation. This is gonna be dope. So you never wanted a regular type life? The fuck is that? Barbecues and ball games? Because I spend all my time chasing guys like you around the block. That's my life. It's kind of fucked up, but... Guy told me one time... Don't let yourself get attached to anything you are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around a corner. If I'm there and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But I'll tell you, if it's between you and some poor bastard 
whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow. Brother, you are going down. They got respect for each other, I like that. Just the way they talk to each other and stuff, you know? Cause no matter what, you will not get in my way. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. It's kind of weird, man. It's like two, like he said, two regular people talking, you know? But they, they, they showed respect for each other, it seemed like there. But you can tell the parallels in this are fantastic, man. Main charter terminal, LAX. Hangar 17. Call it as a 1011 Sierra. <laughs> it's a free country, brother. Everything's still cool. He's walking into a setup, man. His girl. <sighs> Not good. I'm happy for him, man. It's kind of hard, though, because I want, I want a happy ending all around, you know. But again, with the two parallels, you know. Like, Neil just got with his girl as, um... The other guy, I forget, I, I don't know his name. See, this is why when I don't have my notepad to write stuff down, I forget names. But the other guy had uh, broke up with his. The parallels, you know, so similar but different. She's motioning him. I mean, can they do her wrong? She tried. They didn't see her, you know, do any hand motions. Let him go. Roger. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. It's a no go, Vince. Sigh of relief, man. It's all part of the plan in the end. It's all part of the plan. Yep, he's gonna call. I hope there's something that tips him off and he just leaves, but at this point he's in it, man. He's in it. He fucked it up. Smart, so he has a quick escape. Wingro's not moving. I'm staying here. I'm checking the stairs. There's smoke. I'm pulling you out. Your attention, okay. Okay, he's going he's going about this a little bit smarter. Aw oh, fuck, Vincent's gonna have to choose. No, I'm I'm okay. I can I can handle this. Just be careful. Call me here. Let me know you're okay. Okay. It cannot work out, man. He can't give up his passion and his career, and she can't. You know, be happy with someone who's gone all the time. It, it can't work out between them, bro. He's gonna have to open and just straight off him right away. Ooh! He was ready, man. Do it. He deserves it, man. Look at me. That is fucking savage, man. That's that's literally so fucking insane, man. He made him look at him, bro. Dead in the eyes, shot him, said, <gasps> and then offed him. He didn't even go with the quick headshot. Not till after he, you know, hit the sternum. <sighs> Dude, whoa, oh my God. LAPD, don't move. Put your hands on your head now. You better get out of there quick. They're flooding the stairs too, so he but he's gonna get out through the elevator. That's why you put the trash can there, right? Oh shit. She's gonna get in trouble for this. Yep. Oh shit, man. I really hope she doesn't do time or anything like that for this. Don't don't key it off that you're with her. Fuck. And he's gonna disappear. Can you leave her in 30 seconds? He's coming. I feel so bad for her, man. 
shit, dude. I don't know how this movie's gonna end. I really don't. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I feel like he's gonna die now. Aw, oh, Vincent's following right in tow, man. You can taste him, man. He's literally so close, bro. Lots of cover out here. He's pacing himself really good. Like, the way he's running, man, he's not, like, full-out sprinting. He's pacing himself good. Mm. <laughs> He only had, he only shot it three times, must have been uh, not fully loaded. Maybe he's not going to be able to kill Vincent. Like, I know he said he'd be able to pull the trigger, but maybe he won't. I mean, he's been stone cold so far, so. The plane fucked it up so he couldn't hear any noise man he doesn't know if he changed positions or not the shadow oh the shadow fucked him man Vincent got him the shadow fucked him dude he's seen that shadow come around the corner man oh I don't know how I thought this was going to have a happy ending for both of them. <laughs> Literally two completely opposite agendas. They had respect for each other. They did, man. Is this how it's going to end? Wow. That was a good-ass movie, man. That was a good-ass movie. Heat from 1995. Let me... What a fucking movie, guys. What a fucking movie. Neil... And Vincent it was literally like two it was just exact parallels man it, it was oh my god dude I, I love that in a movie or in a show when they can have parallels like that and it's it, it, it's like two people going back and forth and then you also see their similarities with each other you know what I mean and it was cool seeing, you know, one side counter the other or one side think they had the upper hand. But in reality, it was the other side that had the upper hand because it was a setup or something like that. Uh, like when Neil first um, realized they were being trailed and stuff and they set that uh, set the thing up in like that shipment yard or whatever it was. And we're like, these are our escape routes. And then they left. And then, you know, Vincent and them came and Neil was sitting there listening to him and looking at him and seeing who he was dealing with, you know, and they did their research. I like it in movies when it's like the criminals or the bad guys are smart, you know, and they're not just doing stuff all willy nilly or guns a blazing or stuff that doesn't make sense. I like it when they think like out every situation and they think like two or three steps ahead, you know, and they're not just doing stuff on impulse or stuff that seems stupid or stuff that's just like guns blazing. You know, I love seeing the the chess the chess moves between each team and each each uh, lead between like Neil and Vincent. I enjoyed that a lot, and then seeing the secondary characters and stuff, and it's it's kind of sad, you know. I don't know, cause like this movie, I, I feel like most people when they watch this, they they're rooting for Neil. I was rooting for Neil in this. I mean, it's just they didn't make him necessarily seem like a horrible person. You know, they gave him qualities where you're like, okay, you know, there's this and this and this. And, you know, he seems like a decent person. You know, he's not treating people like shit. And he was kind of like the dad, you know, the dad of the group and whatnot. And he didn't want to do that. You know, the second he realized they were being trailed, he was like, let's cut it, call it good. Let's let's go live our lives. Let's 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 eat the fruits of our labor. You know, all the stuff we did before uh, with all the other setups and whatnot. And he, wa he didn't want to do it, but they were all like, we need to do this. It was mainly Chris pushing it. And everyone else kind of followed him and things went to shit you know they did one too many and if it, it finally caught up with them which kind of sucks but super dope movie overall i really enjoyed it you guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on everybody i hope you did just enjoy that video that you watched if you did make sure to comment down below what was your favorite part in it but i want to give a couple quick shout outs to the homie dude tim the homie that's so gordo the homie brandon royce 
and the homie Dream State 91 for supporting me at my highest tier over on Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know, I do have a Patreon. Link is in the description down below as well as on screen right now. We are a couple of weeks ahead for shows, and we are about a week ahead for movie reactions. If you guys want to get early access to those as well as full-length reactions, click the link in the description down below. Support me over there. It would be much appreciated, but I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.